Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be doing an overview of just some of the most important features on Yahoo Finance, which, which can be a really critical tool in helping you to find and evaluate different stocks out there. Just using your stock brokerage is also an option for finding stocks out there, but in my opinion, it is vital to learn the basics of Yahoo Finance, especially if you're just starting out learning. So just in that top search bar, you can search for different companies. There's private and public companies, so not every company you can think of uh, would be in Yahoo Finance uh, because you can't invest in just any company. And then below that, we see the different indexes. The S&P 500 is five mid to large range companies. Um, the Dow 30 is 30 of the largest companies. And then on the right there that you can't really see in the top right is the Russell 2000, which tracks 2000 uh, smaller companies. And as you can see, everything is pretty way up in the green today. And then below that, you have my list or my watch list, which is 21 symbols. Um, so I keep an eye on 21 different stocks every single day. So I am going to take a quick look at Microsoft, ticker symbol NSFT, uh, just because it's a really, really well-known company and it'll be pretty easy to take a look at and understand. In the top left there, you can see the stock price and the stock is currently trading at about $176.55. And a lot of brokerages now like Robinhood and Stash, which I actually use both of, uh, offer fractional shares. So you actually don't even have to pay for a full share um, and the share price isn't mattering as much as it used to. And then you can see there, they're up about $7 today or 4%, so they're doing pretty well today. And then on the bottom of the screen there, you can see, you can go and track how they've been doing in the last one day, five days, month, and so on, up to the maximum of when the company went public. When you scroll down um, past just originally looking at the top of that page, you'll see all these uh, financial metrics, if you will, um, and it can be a little, little bit intimidating if you're just getting started, uh, but I'm going to tell you, even if you can just learn a few uh, to get started, it can help you understand and evaluate a lot of different stocks out there and help you understand what you want to start investing in. The first arrow I have there is the 52-week range. That's the range of the stock price in the last year, and that's really under, uh, really important because you want to understand if the stock is near its 52-week low or 52-week high, and you always want to be able to buy low and sell high, you've probably heard. You also want to understand what market cap is. That's the size of the company here we can see um, in Microsoft. For Microsoft, they're actually the biggest company in the world in terms of market cap at 1.3 trillion. And Apple and Microsoft have been going back and forth for years. And this is important to start to understand as you start looking at more companies because there are small, mid, and large cap stocks. Uh, this is the biggest uh, cap stock out there, as I mentioned, but um, the smaller the company, the more risky it can tend to be. And typically the more things that can go wrong. Then there's the one-year target estimate. A Yahoo Finance analyst uh, gave the one-year target estimate for the stock price an estimate of $187. These are do not actually tend to be accurate, but it can be really helpful for beginners to start to take a look at this and understand why uh, different stocks have target the target estimates that they do. And then at the bottom there, possibly one of the most important things is understanding the dividend. Um, for Microsoft, it's 204, which is 1.2% uh, paid out annually of the uh, total stock price. Really strong growth stocks like Amazon, Google, or Tesla do not have any dividend, and you would just make money from selling the stock for a profit. And then there are a lot of value stocks uh, out there that have a really small dividend. Um, companies like Apple are typically thought of as a value stock, even though they're kind of a growth stock as well. And then you can also just earn income off of investments that are not really growing in their stock price, but do have a really high dividend, such as five, six, even higher of a percentage. And then if you look at the financials for a company, it's really good to look at the last four years, which is available on the app. And you can see that Microsoft has steadily increased revenue over the last four years, as well as um, relatively increasing earnings year over year. And then we have the analyst price targets and the recommendation rating. Uh, again, these don't tend to be updated uh, extremely often, but they can be useful to look at, especially for beginners. Uh, you can see if it's rated a strong buy, buy, hold, or it's underperforming. And if it has, is around a three or higher, you definitely want to stop and ask some questions about the stock before investing in it. And then the price target can be useful to try and examine where a stock price may be going. 
I really hope this reaches some beginners out there that are just starting to uh, learn about investing. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I have tons of other uh, videos on my channel about different stocks that may be good ideas for beginning investments. And subscribe for more content. Thanks.